cat. Hi. Hello. Parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. Got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Peter Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan, sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. It was in my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No. no, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? He missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor sat anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were here. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Willy came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. 
There was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. Very good. I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willy. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were here. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie we'll came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yeah. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. 
can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but like the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I love my egg sandwiches. And then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig. Look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Wooly, she got a fright. It's a little toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. I can't see a buffalo up there. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Wooly came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling. And it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked in the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. Hello, Mummy! Hello, Tig! When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. Oh my goodness. 
From the top of the hill, you could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Kevin! Angel has a wing! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. all the adventure play things. We made lots of noise in the wood. <coughs> there wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Whirly. We've been scared since we were three. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on a chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, okay. Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are too. I said bye. thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long, I ran in front of him. Take, said Daddy, wait your turn. A uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Tig said, Daddy, don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tig, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. 
We rang the bell. It, it was us. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to get off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy, the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my daddy. I said sorry to daddy. Sorry, dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Open, <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. I saw me a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were me. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. I wore my favourite wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scar. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree in a pond with fishes. Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. Oh, she is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Oh, right. Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelt like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Is Willie in the jungle? Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> when we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Oh. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get a scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Tig, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Tig, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Tig, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. 
We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There, you see. Now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got my hat snapper in the jungle house. Really? I told Mum and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. My scarf by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. It smelt of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. a, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <laughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willy came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Oh, it's okay. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo-hoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Hello there, tickets please. Tickets please, said the man. <laughs> Through the country. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Under the bridge. Chuff, chuff, chuff. I love the train. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <laughs> Up the hill we chuffed. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. So no, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops. Daddy's in a tea stick. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig. When you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops! And this best day you can carry away with you. 
your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You are happy again. Oh, there we have tickets. I showed Willy to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willy. We've been scared.